our mission as an organization is to create a more just and equitable food system in the DC area, and we do that through um, our youth farm education program, our military veteran farmer training program, the mobile market uh, program that we manage, uh, as well as our two farm models, our flagship site uh, market garden, and then our 2.3 acre production farm, which I was brought on to begin um, last season. So this is kind of a bird's eye view from Richmond Highway of our, our growing fields. Sorry, it's not a little brighter, but um, it's a 2.3 acre um, production farm that's tractor based and we have, um, it sits on a 20 acre property which is owned by the National Historic Trust for Preservation. And um, we're just next to Fort Belfort and two miles down the road from George Washington's Mount Vernon. Um, so we're a little bit peri urban in terms of the urban farming um, topic. And uh, we've got a 1,500 square foot greenhouse where we do our own um, start propagation. And we have two farm vehicles that were generously donated, um, a wash facility up at our flagship garden, a cool walk and cool bot, and um, both of our farms with um, we, each farm has a staff person and then it's primarily volunteer run. So I just wanted to know, I think um, one of the only nonprofit uh, models up here, so it's, it's a little bit different the way that those um, programs work and operate. Um, that's our wash facility. So just wanted to say a note about the purpose of our, our farm. We're, we're primarily growing for a mobile market program. That's our number one mission. Our mobile markets go into low food access communities in the DC area, and it's a really interesting program that they don't have time to describe today. But um, we grow, we try and grow some specialty crops that um, our customers can't find elsewhere. So okra is one that um, not folks don't often see growing. Um, I think it's a beautiful crop. We grow a lot of cooking greens, um, rape or canola greens, or something that we've been experimenting with growing because we can't. Um, seem to find it in a lot of markets, um, and our customers are interested in that. We've got um, collard greens, um, beets, scallions, tomatoes, squash, uh, all sorts of stuff. And our mobile market also purchases from other area farms. Um, the second uh, secondary purpose is to serve as a training campus for our military veteran farmer training program who are learning, they're dipping their toe in the water of thinking about owning their own farm businesses after having uh, transitioned out of the military. Um, we're also just a forward-facing farm, a much more public and, and open-handed example of sustainable farming in the mid-Atlantic for volunteers to um, get their hands dirty and make mistakes and just see what the hard work is like to grow food in this region. Um, we also have um, sometimes picking days on the farm where people come, learn how to pickle. The, this is a group of volunteers picking um, uh, an excess. We timed this around our, our big boom in cucumber production so that at a time when our markets couldn't handle all the cucumbers we were growing, that we could do something with that excess and have a little um, education opportunity. Um, we uh, have regular volunteers out around six days a week. And um, they do everything from planting to harvesting. And I do the training on food safety and trying to make sure that um, volunteers who aren't required to be there every day aren't sort of um, obliged to the farm in the same way that an employee would be are sort of achieving these high standards for um, our customers. Um, we, uh, three minutes. Um, our, our partnerships along the way have been with George Washington's Mount Vernon, who have been hugely um, supportive of our efforts by lending equipment and expertise. We um, rent our land from the National Historic Trust for, for Preservation, and um, Mission Continues, which is a veteran service organization, has done a lot to help us with our infrastructure here. They are helping us build our, our greenhouse hoop house for plant starts. Um, we work with, um, we donate a lot of our excess produce to United Community Ministries, just down Richmond Highway from us as well as the Arlington Food Assistance Council, who will send out food gleaners to our fields when we're finished um, producing in those fields, and um, they'll take those back to their constituents so that we're, we can quickly turn over our field and plant a new crop or a cover crop. Um, uh, just a quick note about um, nonprofit farm management. We uh, 
are operating in a really different way from a production farm and from what I was used to at Potomac Vegetable Farms because we're focusing a little bit more on education and um, also on reducing the price of our, our products <coughs> that really normally go at a higher rate at, at markets in the DC area because we're trying to make it more accessible. Um, so that's kind of an interesting piece about the way that our production farm is run and it um, sort of reduces productivity but makes the farm more of a living classroom. Um, we are funded primarily through grants and that's how we fund our, our personnel on the farm. And then we try and use foundation funding and private um, fundraising campaigns to fund a lot of the um, supplies and big infrastructure purchases that we make for the farm. So we took the farm, this, this old horse pasture from this, and turned it into a productive um, fruit and vegetable uh, growing operation. Um, in year one, we spent around $20,000 in supplies. We bought a, package, a tractor package with mower and, and disc and loader for around $20,000 that we fundraised for through private donations. We estimate that we made around $25,000 in wholesale sales to our mobile market program and a few, um, very few restaurant sales, but that was um, the, the sort of offset cost that we provided to our mobile market program was around $25,000. We grew around 20,000 pounds of, of produce and then through um, an interesting spreadsheet system that I'm happy to share with um, any of the growers who are interested. Um, we calculated that, that out to be around 80,000 servings of fresh fruits and vegetables um, through a, an interesting Excel sheet. Um, year two, you can see $15,000 so far of expenses. We're drilling a well and that is going to cost us around $25,000 which we fundraised for and we're looking for electricity now so if anyone knows about solar panel grant writing, <laughs> um, we're off the grid even though we're in suburbia. And um, so far we've grown around 25,000 pounds of produce, which is over um, 102,000 serving fresh uh, fruits and vegetable servings. Um, next year we're looking to expand staff potentially by hiring two new veteran fellow farm fellows, um, hopefully get electricity on site to power our greenhouse and our well, and um, potentially think about a farm incubator program since we do have additional land that could be available to the graduates of our, our military farm. Deer fence, please. <laughs> A better deer fence. Uh, thanks very much.